It's auction day, isn't it? Oh, it is. Those aren't, those aren't pills he's popping because he's yeah. nervous. They're mints. <laughs> so, yeah, here we go. 4320, gator, manure spreader, backhoe, dozer. You got it. We'll see how this goes. Let's do it. Take it in, 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 take it in
truck back. And although I'm not necessarily thrilled to put several thousand more dollars into this truck and try this again, um, I think you guys will be. And uh, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about it because I know I could have gotten a perfect condition 12 valve, five speed short bed that I have had my eye on for the last three months that's not on the market that a guy close to me owns that he said he'd sell me. And I was like, finally, I'm gonna buy this truck. I'm gonna buy this truck, which is why I turned down Nasty Red when my dad's like, I'm gonna sell it. I was like, oh, dude, I've got my eye on a perfect truck for almost the same price, like perfect. I mean, and um, I passed it up again another month to buy this truck because you guys were relentless in the comments under the video of saying this thing was going to auction because it literally did go to the auction. I mean, we went all the way back to Wayne County, Ohio and pulled it from the auction yard and I'm driving it back three hours home right now. So, that being said, this is the return of the Nasty Red. How long I will keep this truck, I don't know. But I'm at least going to make sure that it gets finished. And we will go from there. I'm not even going to try to pretend at all that, you know, this truck, you know, I'm going to like, I'm going to keep it forever, you know, like. It's, guys, it's just not reality. And I want you guys to understand and hear me out. And if you don't understand what I'm saying, then you're never gonna understand anything that has to do with other people making choices that are best for themselves and not necessarily what other people want them to do, which I hope you guys would do the same thing with your life, your finances, your goals. I would really hope that you wouldn't do only what I tell you to do or only what your parents tell you to do or your friends that really don't have your best interest in mind. I would hope that you would make decisions that are best for you or your family or your goals. That being said, for everybody that's like, now that we got you to buy the truck back, keep it forever. Never get rid of it. And I'm going to tell you why that's not going to happen. Okay. It's not part of my goals. And like, and people that are just like, oh, well, you know, you're not a little sentimental. No, I'm sentimental about stuff, but my family's future and my goals and the way I have life in perspective, me keeping every truck that's cool is not realistic and it's not gonna help me. That's not gonna help my future. It's not gonna help my family's future. It's not gonna get early retirement. It's not gonna get a dream house built. It's not gonna get the tractor I want to be able to do food plots and deer management stuff once we buy our dream property and build our dream house it's not going to like it's just it, it's just not going it's not going to help me in those areas and i hope you guys understand that like this truck we might have it a few months and then it will probably end up being a giveaway okay but you guys have to understand this is the reason i bought the truck back I completely understood your guys' comments about, oh my gosh, you know, you give away trucks, you're not gonna give us a chance to win back that truck, you know? And the reality was, I was thinking, okay, it'd be a great truck, but financially speaking, that truck still needs new paint, a whole bunch of new front end parts. It needs just the interior all redone because, you, you know, the headliner sagging, dash is cracked like it needs so much work i mean you're talking i'm going to be putting another seven eight thousand dollars into this truck on top of what i paid for it and so financially speaking i know i could have gotten a way nicer truck with perfect paint and perfect interior like for thousands of dollars less so financially it might not make sense to buy this truck but i only bought it back because i understood what you guys were saying and what you guys wanted and so many people are like, you you know, you give away trucks and you're not going to buy that truck back and finish it for one of us to have a chance to win it. I can't afford to buy it. And I was like, that's a good point. I'll try to do my best to buy the truck back, finish it off, and give somebody a chance to own it. Will it be the next giveaway? I don't know. Will it be the one after that? I don't know. But inevitably, at some point down the road, whenever we get this thing done, it will eventually be a giveaway truck. And I want you guys to understand that. I'm not even gonna make one video with this thing and pretend that we're gonna keep this thing forever. It's just not gonna happen. 
and on that note guys it's like you know people would be like oh but you've got to keep this truck because it's the first one that you like built on the channel you know you did all the engine work on it and you did pulling off the bed and getting the flatbed done and doing the compound kit you know everything but people said the same thing about the white first gen you have to buy that truck because that was your dad's first gen and he's had that since back when you started youtube he bought that truck and then same thing about one of my first dualies you know the, the first dually that i had oh my gosh you got to keep that dually that was your first dually oh my gosh that's the first first gen you bought you got to keep that first gen oh my gosh that's a that's the limited you owned when you and reagan got married it's in your wedding pictures you've got to keep it you know like every single truck that i buy there's a group of people that say you've got to keep that truck you've got to keep that truck and let me just tell you what and this is why if it's not in my goals it's not in me and reagan's plans and what we're trying to accomplish it's just not going to happen and i was talking to a fan and you know him and his wife super understanding couple super cool by the way talking to you guys at the auction it was awesome but you know i was telling him i was like i explained to them what i was like you know this is why i'm not keeping every cool truck that i buy and this is why you know i'm not keeping nasty red i didn't keep the first yet i said most people won't understand it because some people let sentimental or other people's opinions get in the way of what's actually best for them or for their goals that they're trying to accomplish but i'm like I'm trying to pay cash for Reagan and I's dream house. That way we don't have any expenses once we move into that house. I don't want to finance it and be a slave to my dream property. And I'm like, and I don't want to have a, another limited and another longhorn and be like, oh, well, I can afford to make payments on it and pay it off in a few years. Because that's not actually able to afford it. That's just making payments on it. I'm making decisions based on what's going to help Reagan and I hit our goals as a couple which is paying cash for our dream home and property and then paying cash for real estate investments and going that route will we someday buy really nice pickups that we keep absolutely are we going to keep rosine forever absolutely but we can't keep every truck that we buy it's just not realistic keeping them does not help pay our bills it does not help us with our goals in fact it does a complete opposite it sinks you know twenty five twenty eight thousand dollars into this truck and then parking it in the barn and hardly driving it that's what it does and it, it, it does not help us and it does not get us moving forward and same thing with like the first gen i'm not going to buy a twenty some thousand dollar truck park it in the barn let it collect dust just to say i kept it it's just it's just not going to happen guys like i'm just not going to do that with every truck that i think is cool or every truck that we've had on the channel that we did stuff to that you guys like want me to keep i just can't do it you know and i would hope you guys would understand and be the same way like you know if you were going to make a decision i would hope it would be based on what you think is best for you i made an exception for nasty red to buy it back and finish it and get it done but inevitably it will be a giveaway truck at some point and i will not be keeping this truck for years and years and years and years i just want you guys to know that so don't be upset you know a few months from now it ends up being a giveaway because that's probably what's going to happen What is going on guys? The return of Nasty Red, the 12 app coming. So I already went through a spiel on the truck and stuff like that, introing the video. I wanted to get that out of the way before we get deep into the talk of this truck and um, some other things I wanna go over with you guys. So for those of you that are new and you don't have history with Nasty Red, this truck has been on the channel since I believe either late 2017 or early 2018, but I think it's been since 2017. And this truck has been through a lot and it still is not done. It should be done for how much money we've got sunk into this thing, but it is not currently done. So my dad has had this truck for many, many years and um, me and him both kind of 
built the truck with an understanding of the fact that I was using it for content, yet it was his truck. So like I paid for the transmission build on this, which was about five grand. I paid for the paint on it and some other odds and ends of things that I paid for. And then Anthem sponsored the wheel setup on this. And then my dad paid for like the flatbed, the tires, the compound kit and some of the other parts under the hood that he wanted put into the truck. And then I filmed installing all that stuff. So we both got money wrapped up in this truck. However, when I spent that money on it way back, it was with the understanding that this was not my truck, but I was gonna do it because I was using it for content to make videos, which in turn made me money. So I looked at it as fair the way we negotiated it out. However, Nasty Red has been essentially a money pit and not a money pit in a bad way, but it's been a very, very, very costly project. When we bought this truck, I believe my dad paid $5,000 for it on the side of the road, right behind our house. He had no idea it was for sale because some guy had it parked on the road. Old guy passed away. One of his kids had this. They said, we don't know what to do with this old Dodge truck. It's for sale. We offer him three. He said the best I can do is five. So we got the truck for $5,000 with only 149,000 miles on it at the time. Coming on into the interior, the truck has some flaws, but it does only have 154,000 miles on it now at this point. We do have gauges. We're gonna be getting a new dash top for it. We have to fix the headliner in the rear because it's sagging. Seat though is in great condition, no rips. Gotta get a new fuse panel cover for that. But for the most part, the interior is in pretty darn good shape other than a few small things that we gotta do that are pretty easy fixes. And under the hood, of course, we've got the Pusher Compound Turbo Kit, twin intake, uh, 120 horse injector, 60 pound valve springs, 191 delivery valves, a uh, zero fuel plate, I believe we have in it. All kinds of stuff, the compound kit's running in. HX35 over an S475, actually. It might be an S475, actually. Um, so it's it makes a lot of power. It's a lot of fun. Transmission's built by Maximum Overdrive. Jim down there in Red Key, Indiana. He got us the build for the transmission done on this thing back when I had paid to get that done. Awesome transmission. Haven't had a single problem with that transmission. Uh, knock on wood that we don't have any issues with it, but we've never had a single issue with this. And it's been great. And he built it as a pulling farm truck, you know, to be able to pull goosenecks and a bunch of weight on the bed. And it does that job Excellent. There's quite a few things we're gonna be doing to Nasty Red to finish it. Some of those things I'm gonna save for another video here to go over as we fix a couple of things on it in that first video of discussing what all we're gonna do. I'm gonna also try to fix a couple of those things that we list in that video. Mechanically speaking, the truck doesn't absolutely need anything. The only things that I'm wanting to do to it are things that I would have liked to have finished it at already and just to be need done to make this thing topped off the way I want it to go and that way when it leaves it's in the actual finished state that we really wanted the truck to be in because I feel like so many of you would like to see that so that's going to be the agenda for this truck and hopefully you guys can understand that because you guys really wanted to see this thing back so we're gonna we're gonna bring it back here finish it up and then hopefully you guys are satisfied with the results of the truck. Okay, I just drove this thing three hours with the cruise set going 68 miles an hour with a super heavy uh, commercial snow blade on the back of this thing and it drove totally soft I mean it drove super awesome and this thing does work in terms of the cruise the acceleration the deceleration buttons everything works on it in terms of those settings and stuff which is actually pretty cool and it drove amazing didn't have an issue and it runs awesome i mean all the gauges everything was reading good on the temps and i mean just it just it, it does run really good before we end this video out i am going to wash this truck so you guys can see it without all the dust and the dirt on it but that'll be the ending clip for the video if you have not done so yet today is your last day your last chance to get 25 entries for every one dollar that you spend at lmpgear.com get you entered to win our 2359 cummins plus five thousand dollars cash the truck only has eighty five thousand miles on it and it is a beaut came out of california old man truck all stock except for the exhaust was done on it and that was it and it is super clean inside and out you guys would absolutely love that truck anyways if you want to get entered to win that just go to lmp gear Dot com buy anything on the store that you like and as soon as you check out you're automatically entered to win it's literally that simple that's all you got to do
everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and you're excited to see what we do with the Nasty. I'm not gonna lie, I am pretty excited to see it finally done. That's what I'm looking forward to. I'm not necessarily looking forward to spending all the money to get it done that it needs, but I am looking forward to seeing it done and I think you guys are gonna really like how it turns out. We're gonna go over some more details, like I said, in the next video, along with fixing a couple small things um, that need fixed. But stay tuned, enjoy the videos, guys. We're about to see Nasty Red finally get complete and I think you guys are gonna really really fall in love with this thing so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to get those entries I'll get you guys in the next video